Hello, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, from time to time, um, uh, I have the need to use the extrude between command, uh, depending on what parts I'm fabricating at the time. But uh, here in 2019, uh, I have a sketch on the screen, and you can see my sketch is uh, is on a plane uh, straddled between two other work planes. And if I go to the extrude command, uh, you can see that uh, un yeah, we all know this one rather well, but we have the distance to between and distance from face. So, you know, it's just easy enough uh, between and uh, click on each of the two planes and you can extrude to them. So, nice clean operation, uh, quick and, and easy. So here I am in Inventor 2020, and uh, I'm going to open um, the same type of layout. And uh, I suppose when I tried this uh, just recently now, I haven't been working that much with 2020. I just uh, started a, a couple weeks ago. But this is my first opportunity to do an extrude between. Uh, command. So uh, I guess I was knocked off balance a little bit when I went to the extrude command and and uh, you know brought up the the new properties window and uh, you know it's, it's it looks new for everyone I suppose. But so I just came here to the direction and I went to the pull down and I just see well they've uh, they've switched it around. So uh, instead of one direction and the other we have default and flipped. Uh, this the usual uh, symmetric and asymmetric, but uh, no, no between. And uh, I guess that took me a little bit off balance. And I'm sitting here looking at it for a while and trying to figure, well, you know, how the heck am I supposed to? Uh, I got a distance here, and there's a two button, so I went to select one, and you know, there's no other opportunity to go to a uh, a second window, and. Um, I guess that was, um, I had to think about this for a little while. So what I did is um, playing around, and this is what I wanted to show you. I'm just going to open another sketch. And here's one that, again, I just have a, a sketch of a tube, and I wanted to extrude it for, uh, in between these two planes. So um, after playing around for a while, I, you know, I kind of feel a little embarrassed of my first solution. But... Um, I guess the proper way to do this, and uh, again, I can I can undock this window if I want. So the property window um, looks a lot like the measure command. They've uh, switched everything around. Um, you're looking for a selected profile, so I'll go down. And the other new feature in here, I suppose a lot of you probably already familiar, is it kind of works a little bit like uh, Fusion, where you can um, select. Uh, regions that are split up by either work geometry or um, anything on projected lines, center lines, things like that. So um, you'll see that I have four profiles. It looks uh, looks at this as four independent profiles. So I'm here um, looking, you know, from and the same thing. You know, I've got default and slip. So I'm sitting here. Well, what about this from sketch plane? And I kind of remember 2019. They sort of started this a little bit. So, um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select the one plane. Let's go. And you'll see right away, well, it's not really what I want. But if you remember in 2019, they kind of uh, came up with this initially. And what they do is they more or less kind of project, um, project the sketch onto the plane that you selected from. So now I'm just going to select the two down for a distance, and I'm going to select my second plane, and there I get my uh, my between. So uh, a little bit of a workaround. I mean, it's um, not as intuitive. Uh, one reason I brought this video up, it's not quite as intuitive, I suppose, as the straightforward between command, but. Um, so what you're going to do is pick the from and choose uh, one of either your face or your plane, and it will project that sketch onto it, 
and then you're just going to go to the distance to command and select the second plane and it'll extrude in between them so there you have it I mean it's um, I get I found it a little bit confusing not quite as straightforward as uh, the initial um, but let me um, I don't think there's too much more in this let's go back and we'll uh, edit the feature uh, again you have uh, the flip direction this is just uh, default flip symmetric these work the same uh, the other one is uh, I can do is I can go to icons so you can either switch your view here to straight icons or if you want to prefer the, um, the drop down um, 601 I suppose <clears throat> Uh, enter a distance command you still have the distance uh, measure all the other same properties are in there and then uh, the second one is the distance a uh, there's not a lot there you can list parameters so if you have a parameter that you want to run for the distance you can certainly list that and the other addition to this is the two uh, command over here where you select that and you can select where you want that uh, selected profile to extrude to so that's about it for this. Um, uh, the only other thing you have up here before you start is you can select either a solid or a surface. Uh, right now I already have the solid selected, so I don't believe I can go back. If I uh, let's see if I can cancel this. Uh, let's say delete. So uh, the sketch is still there. Let me uh, go back, and I'm going to switch this. So it's just a matter of switching. Uh, it's a click and a switch if you want to go to a uh, surface. So I can do the same situation, select that surface, and the same situation is going to apply. I can select that and the two. All right. So the surface works the same way as, um, as a solid. I didn't say okay so it will allow me to slip back and forth All right, but this will be a full solid since I did not select the regions in there alright so there you have it um, simple but uh, I suppose it could have been a little bit more direct I was just caught off guard I guess where uh, they kind of eliminated the between command uh, I suppose I wasn't uh, expecting that uh, it's been in there for years, and uh, not that I use it too often, but on occasion. So that's um, that's a straightforward workaround. All right, I uh, hope this helps out um, and uh, clarifies that the next time you have to use the between command. So thank you very much. Uh, hope this helps out. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down below. And uh, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, uh, write them in the comments. So thank you much. Uh, this is Dave Briner. Uh, Till next time.